All right. So here are three series. We want to know whether the alternating series test, sometimes abbreviate AST, uh, we want to know if it can be applied. Uh, the first one is the one we just talked about. It's the alternating harmonic series, right? Um, the underlying sequence, if we ignore the minus 1 to the n plus 1, is just a n is, is 1 over n. And so let's see. Uh, this is, is positive. It's decreasing. And we also know that the limit as n goes to infinity of a n is 0, right? So we check those three boxes, right? Um, and this is the interesting thing about alternating series tests. It, you are just checking boxes, right? It's, it's, there's hypotheses, there's a conclusion, right? So there are three things in the hypothesis. Sequence is positive, sequence is decreasing, sequence has 0 for the limit. If you can check those three boxes, your sequence converges, okay? So that's it. We know it converges. Um, as I mentioned later on, we'll see that it converges to natural log of 2, but for now we know at least that it converges. Okay, what about this next one? Well, we've got the appropriate form, right? We've got the minus 1 to the n, log n over n, so a n is log n over n. Um, so let's see. We need to check positive. We need to check decreasing. And we need to check the limit. All right. So let's have a look. Is it a positive sequence? Um, well, okay, log of 1 is 0, so the first term is 0, but after that we're fine. So let's say positive. Sometimes we allow 0 for positive. It's at least non-negative. What about decreasing? Um, if you try the first couple values of n, you might find that it's going up, right? Um, so then you get a little bit worried. You're like, oh, it's not decreasing. It looks like the values are going up. Um, can't apply the alternating series test. Um, on the other hand, the limit is 0, right? Simple application of L'Hopital's rule will tell you that. It's infinity over infinity as n goes to infinity. Take the derivative of the top, you get 1 over n. Bottom is just 1. That limit goes to 0. Check. But it doesn't seem to be decreasing, so you worry that you can't apply the alternating series test. But let's, let's take a look at, if you take a look at the function, right, you look at f of x, if fx is log x over x, then f prime of x, if we do the quotient rule, we get the derivative of the top, 1 over x times the bottom, x, 1 over x times x is 1, minus top times the derivative of the bottom, just log x, bottom squared. Um, well, that's going to be less than 0 for log x bigger than 1, which is the same thing as saying that x has to be bigger than, well, e. e is not an integer, but um, it'll work for 3, right? Um, so it's decreasing for n bigger than or equal to 3, and that's good enough, right? Um, Nobody cares about the first couple terms, right? If you're deciding on convergence, the first couple terms is not going to change whether or not the series converges. You just drop them off the end, figure out the rest, works out. As long as it's eventually decreasing, you're fine. Okay? So that works. But then we come to this last one. We've got sine of n over n squared. Okay? Uh, the absolute value, make sure that things are positive, so we've got that again. Definitely the limit is 0, right, because this is bounded and n squared is going to go to infinity. Um, but it's not decreasing, okay? The terms are not decreasing because sine of n is going to oscillate between 0 and 1. It's going to take values between 0 and 1 and it's going to keep doing that forever, right? As n goes off to infinity, um, there are going to be values that are close to 1. There are going to be values that are close to 0, right? Um, so, yeah, it's bouncing around on us. It's not, it's not strictly decreasing, and there's no way to make it strictly decreasing. So in this case, 
um, we're out of luck. Maybe it still converges. In fact, it does. We'll see soon that uh, if, the if the series converges without the minus 1 to the n in there, uh, this will be called absolute convergence. If you, if you can show convergence without that term, then it converges with the, if you put that term in, okay? So it does converge, um, and it converges just by comparison with the p-series, right? 1 over n squared. So it converges, but you can't establish that convergence using the alternating series test. You need to use a different theorem to show that it converges.